to see if there's a model number. That might be it there. Anyway, up here on the side are all the dip switches. They're physical switches that will alter the settings on your board. So I'm going to mount this camera and go through them so you can see uh, the different options. Okay, first thing you want to do is make sure the power is off. Not just off, but the whole unit's unplugged. Because you don't want to start switching these um, dip switches without uh, having making sure there's no power going to this. One, it'll mess up your board. And two, you might drop something on the power supply right below you. You might touch it. You, nobody wants to mess around with electricity like that. So, once it's unplugged, you can look here. They're broken up into three groups, dip switch A, B, and C, and it, you can see it goes uh, from 1 to 8 on all three of them, even though some of them aren't being used at all. And right now they're all in the off position. Now the factory settings are going to be, you know, set to specific things uh, based on how they like to deliver the game to their customers. But right now these are all on off. You can see the, right here it says on, and um, so if they're up, they're on. And if they're down, they're off. So these in Group A, uh, this is again the uh, Street Fighter II regular board. It's not Championship Edition or anything like that. It might be the same for that uh, one too. But this one, uh, these first three, one, two, three, are based on the pattern dictate how many credits you get per coin. And the same in coins like two is the next three. So up and down dictate how many coins you get. Number seven overrides these. So number seven, if you switch this on, that means it takes two coins to start playing, one coin to continue. And that helps if it's a retail environment to uh, keep people wanting to keep playing so they don't... Uh, have to put in two quarters if they start over. Anyway, so right now it's on off, 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 which is one coin, one credit. This is on off, off, off. Uh, if I were to have this on on, off, off, that is one coin, two credits. If I were to have it on off, on, off, so number two up, that's one coin, three credits. Flip it back there, and for one coin, four credits, it's on, on, off. For one coin, six credits, it's off, off, and then number three would be on. Okay? Um, but we're going to go make this free play, so I don't need to worry about any of those. Um... Number eight on here is not, there's no use for it. It's, it doesn't do anything. So the next group is B, and it's only just the three, uh, all of these, four to eight, mean nothing. One, two, and three set the difficulty. So factory default is on, on, off, which is number three di difficulty. Uh, zero being easiest, and um, seven being most difficult, so there's seven uh, settings. So if you want it on easy, it's off, off, off. So this is the easiest way to play it. If you want it on level one, it's on, off, off. If you want it on level two, it's on, or I mean, sorry, off, on, off. Level three, and this is the default, on, on, off. Uh, four is off, off, on. So right here, flip it back up. That's level four. Uh, let's see, level five would be on, off, on. Uh, on, off, on. So down there to five. Level six, off, on, on. When these are going to break, if I keep doing that. 
Okay, and seven. The hardest setting is on, 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 and that's the fun one to play for me. So I'll leave it on that one. And again, all of these don't do anything. There's no options on those. Okay, now C. Let's do the default is off because this first one, number one, is free play. So you just push start as many times as you want. So I want to turn that on. This is a home game. We're not having it in a store. So now coins aren't used at all. You just push start whenever you want. Um, let's see, the second one. Oh, sorry. Whoops, I made a mistake. That's number one and two don't do anything. It starts on three. Confused me. So number three is usually off, and that's the free coin. Um, screen stop is off. I'm not even sure what that means, so we'll, we'll mess around with that one, see what that one does. Screen flip, that's number five, and that's usually an off position. So if I switch this, the whole screen will turn around. And that's if you're, you know, have some kind of goofy cabinet where the monitor is flipped around and stuff, but this is a normal monitor positioned upright, so I'll leave it on that. Um, okay, this next one, uh, eight. This one's important. If you are diagnosing, <clears throat> a lot of times monitors will go out and you don't know if your board's a problem or not and you can't hear it making any sound so number um, which one were we on number six right number six okay here we are sound sound on during demonstration mode. So if I'm diagnosing this and I need to tell if the monitor's a problem or if the board's a problem, it's not, you know, you never know, but it's a lot of times helpful telling what you need to fix if you can hear it when it's uh, um, in just, you know, the on mode. Arcades will often shut this one off because you don't want video games making tons of noise if there's uh, no one playing it. Uh, number seven is continue. So if you want to continue, which we do, and turn it on, it allows you to continue where you left off instead of just dying and starting over. And test mode test mode is the last one and I'd like to see what that is so there's two we're gonna see what it does test mode there we go so those are the settings I chose and then we'll see what fun you can have with test mode right now okay here we are in test mode a one color okay I guess this is the letter A just helps you. Now enter a shot. So I just hit punch. Oh, okay. This just helps you diagnose your monitor. When you're B shot, okay, that's pushing A shot would be small punch, and B shot is medium punch. Dip switch. Uh, one coin, one credit. B side, one coin. Okay. Continue coin. Game level seven. Free play on. Stop flip. We'll try this uh, stop. We'll see what that does. That'll be interesting. And demo sound on. Continue on. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the I.O. test. Input. Oh, okay. Here we go. You make sure all your controls are working. 
punch, 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 kick, kick, kick. Yeah, they all work, I know that. So exit, you push in or both of the buttons at once. Output, let's see what that one does. Coin counter, coin lock, screen flip. Push one start, let's try that one. Okay, you can flip the screen. Okay, that's boring. Now let's go to sound. One shot is the punch, but it's I'm not hearing anything. Oh, there we go. So this is all your Street Fighter sound effects. Okay, that's boring. And let's get out of here again. And what else do we got? Dot cloth. Okay. And character. Object. Now why would you be interested in this? any sense to me. Why would you care? Okay. So anyway, let's get out of here. That's the test menu. Now it should be level 7. Alright. So this one is set to play uh, audio all the time. So I gotta turn that off, but it's on free play. So I'll go back turn off the sound because nobody wants to listen to this all day long. Maybe you do. Enjoy some music. <laughs>